Hi, Mark Vogler. I'm your gay travel guru, coming to you today from Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. I'm on the 16th Street Mall. It's a mile-long pedestrian zone filled with shops, boutiques, coffee houses, and there is a free shuttle service that takes pedestrians up and down the plaza all day long. I'm with Susan Stitz today. She is the PR director for the Weston Denver Downtown Hotel, a Starwood property. Thanks so much for having us here today. Happy to have you. It's beautiful. Thank you. The hotel's fabulous. The heavenly bed was indeed heaven. I had a great hard to get seat. up. It was very hard to climb out of bed today. I'm going to be exploring Denver's vibrant, world-class art scene. We're going to be traveling to the Opera House, Ballet, and Beautiful Museum. The Denver Center for the Performing Arts houses a lot of resident companies. Yeah. So Denver Center Attractions, we do our Broadway tours here in the alley and then next door at the Buell Theater. It is a beautiful theater. Yeah, yeah. I had our time, I got up there and, and I didn't want to leave the stage because yeah. it's just, it's, you feel like a star. We did the pre-Broadway engagement of The Little Mermaid okay. um, for Disney a few years back and um, they, they did the pre-Broadway engagement in this house because they thought it was so beautiful yeah. and state of the art. This is where I break into Sunset Boulevard. We are here with Gil Boggs today at the Colorado Ballet, which is an amazing, amazing institution. I, I didn't expect this building. I mean, I don't know much about Denver. I've never been here before, but it has this incredible ballet here that you've been artistic director here for about seven years. Yes. We're in our 52nd season here in Denver. Okay. Yeah. And this building is uh, opened in 2005. It was an old auditorium. They gutted it and made a beautiful opera house out of it. So tell us a little bit about some of the upcoming season. 52nd season, you said? 52nd season. Well, we opened with a full length, new full length production of Sleeping Beauty, which went very well. We just had a run of Nutcracker. How many um, shows do you do a year here? We do somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 to 54. Wow. Yeah, so, okay, quite so you're busy. Permanent yeah. company? Permanent company. How big is it? We have 30 dancers and a second company of around 20. What? Just this complex alone. This is second to Lincoln Center in New York. Denver Art Museum is a collecting institution, so we have um, collections of photography, Western American art, American Indian art, and modern and contemporary art. So this is a visitor favorite, and we can actually walk through it if you'd like. Wow, this is really amazing. So who's the artist? Sandy Skoglin, yeah. and the title of the work is Fox Games. The museum is really a place where you can explore your own creativity, um, and I think our studio space is a, a really great example of that. We had one for an exhibition called Marvelous Mud, and there was a pottery wheel. We had a fashion studio during Yves Saint Laurent, and there were sewing wow. machines and sketching stations, and now we have the paint studio for Becoming Van Gogh and a couple of other exhibitions that we had that explore the tips and techniques of painters. Wow. So there's local yeah. artists every weekend, and there's also a lot of places where you can make and do. So we're really championing creativity. If you're coming to any of these amazing world-class ski resorts here in Colorado with some of the best snow in North America, Vail, Aspen, Snowmass, Breckenridge, do yourself a favor and spend some time in Denver. There is an amazing cultural scene going on, an art scene that is world-class. Stay at the Weston downtown Denver. It's walking distance to everything. You will not regret it.